So I think we, we've we've seen a number of technologies change the way that um, you know that people have lived on the planet, um, the way that we've done things, and there's been an explosion of technology um, in the last in the last couple of years. We we're, we're talking a bit about an industrial revolutions now. If we if we take a step back and we said, well, the biggest the biggest change that we had was in the agricultural revolution uh, many years ago, and we've gone through industrialization and a, a bunch of different revolutions. We're right slap bang in the middle of a of a revolution that's going to change the way that we interact um, on the planet and obviously the things that we're doing with each other. So that's whether it's in nanotechnology, robotics, biology, there's a lot of different things that are happening and changing the way that we work. It's changing the demographic and how we interact, it's changing the things that we do and potentially has the potential to either really enhance us or there's some, there's, there's some, challenging, uh, some challenging times ahead. So if used correctly, technology is like any tool. If if uh, if it's not used appropriately, you know it, it can it can potentially do more harm than uh, than good. So we're in that we're in that space, and we're asking a lot of questions. And yet, technology is moving faster and faster forward. We are very comfortable with the type of tech that we use every day. We're in a shared asset economy. Everything's being democratized and available. So fourth industrial revolution is talking to the concepts of it, but also talking to the specifics of how companies and people can, can leverage this technology to enhance our lives and improve the way that, um, that, that, that business is working today. And then that also then relates to the sorts of things of um, enabling people to live longer, um, recover better from certain things, um, reading an article on how we can now grow an inner ear cochlea and, and change people's experience of hearing, how stem cells can now be used to repair our knees and our hips. So. If I think of you know, people in my family that have been through hip replacement or knee replacement, that's going to be that's going to be an injectable you know change going forward. So this is a very interesting space that we're in. Um, our children are going to universities and learning a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, whether it's landing a drone on a, on a on a on a meteor that might be passing by that we can now use for mining and extracting new materials. There's lots of new things happening, so it's an exciting space, um, but also quite daunting for a number of companies to say, well, should we be automating everything in our factory? Should we be putting robotics in? What does digitization really mean? So some of, it are, are, some of it is conceptual, some of it is actually physically can be done in many organizations today. And I think that's, you know, that's, our, under, our understanding is all different. Our understanding and our concepts are all different, and depending on our lens of what we're trying to do, if you're a non-profit organization, you'll be using the tech to change the way people live and work and, and potentially feed people using you know, ag um, agronomy and emerging farmers. If you're in another space, you could be, well, how do I leverage this tech to make my business more efficient? And that, so there's a lot of different ways of looking at the fourth industrial revolution. Mm -hmm.